Super C's is one of the fastest growing segments in the RV industry, but they're huge. They're 38 feet, 40 feet, big freight liner chassis. Behind me is a new floor plan and a new concept. Now the floor plans has been around on the Mercedes chassis, and this is the first one that they've done this floor plan on an F550. This is the 2024 Thor Magnitude, the model AX29 with 4x4. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. As you saw on the floor plan, this is an exciting day because it's the world debut of an all new floor plan for Magnitude. Before I begin, gotta say hi to Andrea. Hey Andrea! Hi everybody! Did you get to see a little glimpse of the inside? I did, it's actually really cool. I think you guys are really gonna like this one. Now here's the thing, I hate it when I say that, I am not the target audience for this unit, but there is so many people that have been asking for a unit like this. And so today's an amazing day. You ready? Model is AX29. The actual tip to tip length is 30 feet, eight inches. This is the, this is the uh, Thor Magnitude. It has a 6.7 liter power stroke V8, four by four turbo diesel F550, 330 horsepower, 950 pound feet of torque. Andrea, this motorhome is awesome, badass. And the trim level of the Ford part is the XLT. I love the way these lights look. I love the way this Ford looks. Super duty, badass, awesome in America. Matt, I am taken away by the grill. <laughs> yeah, this is awesome. I love these hooks up here. And I just love how big and beefy it is. Andrea, if you stand over here on this side, do you know what this looks like? It, it looks like a corgi. You know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? Kind of. Kind of like big and beefy, but like right. the shorter body. You quick. Know? Still quick and agile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still quick and agile. Exactly. And then look at these tires, Dre. They're the Continentals. I love those. 225-70R19.5 with the blacked out rims right there. Looks absolutely fantastic. Right up front, we do have a seamless fiberglass front cap. This is one molded piece. Also, there's a front windshield here. Nice oversized mirrors, okay? And then this unit does have side cameras right there and there. Take a step back, you're gonna see that it does have a very nice power awning with LED lights, frameless windows throughout this motorhome. And take the cab out of it. Isn't that a small body? It really you know is. It's a very, it it's a little motorhome. And you forgot to mention that the awning does have the wind sensors yes, on it. But the paint job looks awesome. Oh yeah. Right here we got a little bit of storage. Batteries. Okay. Right here we got a TV on the outside. On the outside, on the outside. Storage. You know who sings that? Uh, no. Spot two trailer park girls. Really? Yeah. Well, I'm sorry, I, I don't know. I guess right I'm, not, I'm not cool. We got potable water fill, potable. Potable! And then a propane quick connect. It's funny, cause you don't even know the song. A Little bit of storage. But if I sing it a different way, then you will know it. Oh! Two trailer park girls go around the oh, outside. Oh, Eminem! Around the outside. Marshall around Mathers! Outside. <laughs> but when I said it in that one way, you're like, right. oh, I don't know. Yeah. Pro propane quick connect. So, Jen and I were talking about this once. It's not about the words you say, but it's about the way you say it. Yes. So that's how your brain identifies Exactly. It. Propane? Yes. And then Miss Jen, bing, if you could put the specs right there. Not only that, Andrea, it's like the way our brains work, you have to like say something that triggers something else, that triggers something else. Like, if I were to tell you the lyrics of a song in the middle, you wouldn't understand it. But if I start from the beginning and I'm saying these words, it triggers different parts of the brain that knows. You wow. know what I'm saying? Guys, you are tuning in to Matt's music uh, little reviews. Philosophy. He's teaching Philosophy. us. Coming around the back, Andrea, we have a 12,000 pound hitch. Now, I am definitely not saying you can tow 12,000 pounds. You're good with 10,000 pounds. Any more than that, always know before you tow. Backup camera there, nice fiberglass rear cap. Something else you got to remember, Andrea, you want to make sure you're not towing anything longer than the motorhome. You know what I'm saying? I don't know the science behind it, but uh, something about like the equilibrium getting thrown off. So make sure you're not towing a 40 foot trailer 
just because you can tow the weight, you want to make sure it's, you know. Not bigger than what you're driving. Yeah. yeah. And then there is a ladder to get up on the one-piece TPO roof. I imagine that would look really funny, too. All Man, right, Matt. That oh, That is a high step Yeah, there. it is. You can do it, Matt. <laughs> oh, no. Are you going to run? There you go. <laughs> you got it. Up here on the roof, you can see it's a one-piece, fully walkable TPO roof. Not one, but two air conditioning units. I love that. Right there, you got solar panel, max air fan, and your wine guard digital antenna. All right. You got one more step left. One more. Oh, man. And if you haven't already, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. What do RV salesmen taking his fat ass up on the roof? Showing you what features the roof has to offer. Nobody. Nobody. Finishing up. We do have a very nice instant hot tankless water heater. I love how they continue the paint job here. City water connection right there. Right here we got a little bit of storage. We missed that stuff. Yeah. It's where you dump your tanks, outdoor shower, everything right over here. It's going to be diesel fuel. Here's where you hook up your 50 amp power cord and TV for the outside. And then coming on down, Andrea, got a little bit more storage. Nice sand latch doors. More storage. Pass through. Another fuel fill up. And then here, you can see that you have the Onan 6000 diesel generator. Well, Andre, the outside of this motorhome looks great, but the inside looks even better. Come on, let's go. Take a look. Take a look at the inside. All right. Okay, look at this. So we have a full wall slide. Plenty of walkway right here. You can definitely open the fridge. Um, we got a Murphy bed, and then we have a rear bathroom. All right, so let's take a moment to take a sponsor to thank. I'm like tank to thank the sponsors of thank this you. video. Thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> Matt's RV Reviews is proudly sponsored by RV Life, tools that make camping simple. Everybody knows when it comes to camping, it can be a little stressful, but not with RV life. So first discover, research campgrounds and other locations of interest with detailed information, but for RVers. Plan your trip accordingly with the popular trip planner. That software is amazing. It's gonna tell you the best routes and you can go with your RV safe GPS. Not only are you typing in your specifications so it knows not to take you under any low bridges, but you can actually use that offline. So so if you're at a place with no Wi-Fi, you'll still have your GPS and you can share it with their RV community, guys. RV Life is more than just an app. It's an awesome program that all RVers should have. What we're doing is a free seven-day trial for Matt's RV Reviews customers and 25% off on top of that. So all you do is go to their website, rvlife.com, sign up for the free seven-day trial by clicking our link down below or typing in Matt's RV Reviews. Don't download the app because you, then you won't get the free seven days. So do it on the website, register Matt's RV Reviews, then download the app. We appreciate RV Life for sponsoring this video and sponsoring Matt's RV Reviews. Let's continue the video. Look at this. Oh my right goodness, out. so spacious. Talk about a mega slide, huh? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna get started in this cockpit area. Andre is not gonna climb down here. Uh, and we'll touch on this later, Andre. Climbing down here is kind of a little bit of a pain. But once you're in here, it's super nice. I got my camera right here. I got a very nice steering wheel. Andrea, I don't feel like I'm in a motorhome. I feel like I'm just driving a normal pickup truck. We got cup holders here and everything. Your drive mode, everything you want. Zone air conditioning control. Here's your radio and everything. You also have different apps. You can use Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. And a very nice passenger seat area. Super nice, super spacious. And if you look at the seat behind... There's nothing behind, so you can really get that stretched out. One of the dislikes that we're going to touch on a little later, back on up, Andrea, is how much of a pain in the butt it is to transition from the cab to the motorhome. Now, with that said, if you're not as, you know, 
athletic as I am, <laughs> you won't be doing that. You'll just open up that door and come through the side. But even me being at my peak male performance, uh, even me, I have trouble climbing up that. You know what I'm saying? Of course. Yes. We do have a bunk over the cab. And this sticker says 250 pounds. Wow, really? It used to be 800. Yeah. No. That might be an error, but you know what? It's not our job to tell you what is it or isn't. It says 250 pounds. So, Steve from Thor, we know you're watching. Can you comment to confirm nor deny? Sometimes they do put the wrong stickers on. And I definitely thought it would have been more, especially for how big it is. Neither here nor there, Andre. This is a very nice bunk over the cab. It's a good size. Cup holders there, nice windows on both sides. I love this blue light. You also got a privacy curtain. And right up there is the windshield. And there is a ladder that goes there. And all you do is push this button, Andrea. And then it lets in so much natural light. Not only that, oh, it's... Home, 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 home. It's the uh, height when you sit in this bunk. Yeah. You know, you don't feel so closed in. Yes. Yeah. Very nice. Easy to get up in everything. Then over here, Andrea, is our dinette. Okay. Magnitude, scroll over this uh, QR code, Andrea. If you guys want to learn more from Thor, just scan that QR code. And then this dinette's very nice. It does drop down to make a bed. You got cup holders there. Four people can easily sit at this comfortably wireless phone charger right here this also does drop down to become a bed and you got amazing cabinetry how do you like them it's very nice and then look at this andrea look at this balance let's get a good look at it andrea approved bing Ooh. oh sorry i didn't not like that, that bing that was your you just sang before this so you got my um notes all off i'm flat bing! ah andrea loves these balances that was like a bang first. <laughs> Good storage. Andrea loves the balances. Not only that, Andrea, you are going to have daytime blinds and privacy blinds throughout. And storage. top it all wolf. A little bit of storage. Okay. On the other side as well, I think. No, maybe not. Ouch. Oh, okay. There. there is a car seat tether right there. Yes. Then Andrea shows us kitchen. Okay. We did forget that cabinet. Ah, and I did forget this. Here's our control panel and your auto leveling right there. And a little bit of storage above. Okay. So I do see real quick that there is counter extension here. That's flush. Very nice. Just in case. And then above we have a nice cabinet with an adjustable shelf. Yes, ma'am. Love this window in here. We have a double sink, big sink. We've got the extension right there. Very nice. And then let's see, under here we have, oh, we got a trash can. I haven't hey, seen one in a while. That's a $176 trash can. Wow. Congratulations. Yes, yeah, been a long time. And then over here, we've got some more storage. We've got a cabinet above. Yes, oh, open it, yes. <laughs> Very nice. The, um, what is this, the convection microwave? Cooking with contour. Very nice. And then we've got the uh, two burner propane and one burner induction cooktop. Nice. A little bit of backsplash. Okay. And then a huge drawer right there. Yes, ma'am. Okay. A residential GE, oh, it's soft close. Did you see that? I did. We've got a residential GE refrigerator. Very nice. And, okay, so this is confusing. Is it here? Or is it here? I'd say it's here. Where? Right there? Yeah. All right. Oh, maybe you're right. I know. So here's I some know pantry thing. space. Very and good. We've got lots of drawers right here. Yes, ma'am. So I love the soft clothes. Yes. Oh. And we've got a bigger drawer down there. Do that here. again. Oh. Same size down there. Very nice. Nope. Nope. We'll Back show here. that. Nope. Oh. You, know, you know what time it is? It's, it's now time for, for the, the MSRP. MSRP. We'll show all that in just a moment. MSRP on this motorhome here is $285,285. MSRP, Andrea. That's 285285. Just go to generalrv.com slash matscash. 
We've linked it down in the YouTube description below. You guys can get there from Matt's RV Reviews.com or call 844-969-4033. Please reach out to us, Andrea, and a member of our team will reach back out to you guys, and they will help you get the absolute best price in America. Andrea, you, 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 you ready? I, I think we're both tongue-tied today. All right, right here we got fantastic storage. Wait, wardrobe? With the dragon scale pillows. Yes. Very nice. I like the the wardrobe right here because there's not a lot of space. Oh, we got lots of drawers right there. Drawers, all drawers, all drawers. Six drawers. Very nice. I guess okay. that's where you put your clothes. Yep. We got some <laughs> art deco Okay, right so here. that's different. Remember how they always used to do that little, like, weird house landscape it's, a, it's art deco um no you know what it looks like watercolors yeah it looks like they took a cup of water it's like they, one like, of my scarves some ink in, and then that's what happens when the ink meets the water maybe it looks like a scarf though okay sitting here in the sofa how you doing i'm sitting here it's about to murphy into a murphy bed i'm gonna show you this in just a second but first I am looking directly across at the TV entertainment center fireplace area. So first, dang, we got some big old storage For there. Real. We got an insignia TV right here. Oh. We some hidden storage there. How you doing? Good size. Oh, another big drawer. And, and a, a fireplace. fireplace. What's nice about that fireplace, it does produce heat from electricity. And then when it's bedtime, okay? Time for bed. I make my bed. I love those pillows are attached, aren't they? Yeah. That's great. So nice. So nice. Hey, you see that? Storage? No, you lay it down. Oh, this is new. You lay it down. I know what I'm doing. Okay. Okay. And you take this key. Okay. And you go, bada bang, bada boom. Wow. Murphy's in the room. Look at that. Okay. This bed does hold 600 pounds. It what? It right there. Very nice bed. Queen size bed. It's doing its own thing. You got a headboard up there and nice storage above. Okay. Four cabinets. Nice windows. Yep. And they got a little uh, nightstand or end table here with the USB and electrical outlet. Yep. And then the bed going back up. Wow. Now, again, this is not for me, Andrea. I'm not getting the Murphy bed. You know, I don't mind. But I, at, at the same time, I don't mind driving a longer motor home, 33, 35 feet. But for the people that want the Murphy bed, they're going to look at this and say it's perfect. Right. You know? There's a target audience for everyone. Absolutely. And then to wrap it all up. Pocket door going into the rear bathroom. Okay, oh, that shower. is a big step up. Yeah. Wow. It's a nice shower, Andre. A really good size shower. 30 by 36, plenty of head height. Nice uh, shower door and everything. Okay, we have a nice uh, mirrored medicine cabinet right here. Okay. See that with the shelves? I know, I know. Very nice. Mm -hmm. And then over here, we have some more storage. Oh, good. Right there, and then over here. Yep, very and good. Then you know, you got a good sink here, plenty of counter space. There really is a lot of storage in this little rear bathroom and over here as well. Yeah. And then, oh, what's that there? Oh, it's Liquify, our brand of RV toilet tank treatment. Guys, you can pick some up at primepoopandposition.com and on Amazon, and it will get mailed directly to your house. Pour some toilet. Hmm, are you squished? A little bit. Andrea, this is not a prime pooping position. Womp, womp. But wait, womp, womp. And I'm not failing it either. You know what I'm saying? It's, I'm rubbing just a little bit. It's still doable. It's still fine. It's just, I am touching a little bit. But, but again, overall, pretty nice. And this is a pretty nice motorhome, Andrea. And again, even though I'm not the target audience, this is what the people have been asking for. So with that said, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. And before everybody leaves, it's time to give people three things that we love about this motorhome and three things that we dislike about it. Andrea, what do you want to do first? Let's do three things that we dislike about it first. First one's on the outside. Dislike number one, Andrea. I started off over here. I'm like, city water. I'm like, that's kind of, you know, city of them. City, city. <laughs> yeah. 
and I didn't like that, but, but I was going to let it slide. And so, but then I saw this wet bay, totally not a fan of this mm -hmm. wet bay personally for me. That's this like number one. Andrea, what's this like number two? That was dislike number one, oh, no. Andrea. <laughs> Tell me dislike number two. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's really hard with this one, Matt. Oh. I will say. Talk to me. Uh, that shower is a humongous step up. It really is. I, yeah, not for me, but others out there that are more agile than me and not clumsy will be fine. So we'll combo that, Andrea, with being agile, climbing in and out of the cockpit yes. area as well. Again, when you're transitioning from the cockpit area to the motorhome that's a pain in the butt really the best thing to do is just go around every time again not a big deal that's just a dislike so that plus that step up that's just like number two and then dislike number three andrea for me you see this sofa yes it's a horrible sofa mm. when it comes to sofas this is not a good sofa okay it's horrible it's uncomfortable it's stiff and it is what it is right that's three things we don't like about Andrea. Now it's time for three things we love about it. Do you mind if I go first? No, go ahead. This sofa. <laughs> How you doing, huh? I'm mixing it up. I'm throwing an audible. Matt, you just said this sofa's horrible. How is the sofa one of your likes? Because it's not a sofa. It's a Murphy bed. You know what I'm saying? It's a sofa. It's a living room that transforms into the bedroom. It... You're able to get this floor plan because of a sofa like this. So, yes, you are sacrificing a little bit by having an uncomfortable sofa, but you're able to get a full wall slide in a Murphy bed. That is love number one. Andrea, tell me love number two. Love number two, I am very impressed with the interior and exterior storage on here. Talk to me. For it being as short as it is, yes. it has a lot of storage. It's short and stout like a corgi. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yes. Here is my teapot. Here is my spout. What is it? Got to turn. Yep. <laughs> oh no, I got to do the handle. Do you remember that? There you go. <laughs> that is just like, or that's like number two. And then Andrea, like number three for me, I am going to combo it. I'm going to say, just, just like to what Andrea said, because I don't think we can emphasize this enough. For this being the smallest size it can be, and still feeling huge and spacious in here. This is what people are looking for, Andrea. They're looking for a super seat that's still good for state and national parks. They're not living in this thing. They want it for state and national parks. They want to have room where they can breathe. They want to be able to bring their storage, but they don't want to live in it. And they don't want to be driving something that's 38 feet right. long. You know what I'm saying? That is what this motorhome is. And I love the fact that Thor went out on a limb to create this floor plan because again it's not about what thor wants or what i want it's about what are the consumers asking for and they've been asking for this and they delivered and if you guys want to take delivery of this unit reach out to a member of my team by going to generalrv.com slash matt's cash i've linked it down in the youtube description below you guys can get there from mattsrvreviews.com or call 844-969-4033 please reach out to me any way you can because our team is here at General RV to help everybody get the absolute best price in America. Andrea, what do you say? Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things you dislike. Yes. Thor does read the comments and they do watch the videos, you guys. With this being a new floor plan, please leave your feedback. Yes. We hope you guys are safe and well. Thanks for watching. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. And Andrea, we'll see you next time.